With the introduction of iOS 13, Apple have changed the way that split screen mode works within the Safari browser. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you enable split screen mode so that you can see two web pages side by side. For this demonstration, we will be using an iPad Mini 4, as this model of iPad is one of the older models that iOS 13 can still be installed on too. The reason we chose this model of iPad is because enabling and using split screen can be very frustrating, and for some reason more difficult on older models of iPad hardware. Let's start by opening the Safari browser on our iPad, and then to make working with split screen easier, changing the iPad's orientation so that we're working in landscape mode. Now from within a web page, if we locate a hyperlink, and then press and hold our finger over that link, a preview window will open along with a quick menu. Within the quick menu, the two commands that we're interested in are the open in new tab and open in new window commands. Let's start by selecting the open in new tab command. You can see that two tabs have appeared just below the address bar of Safari. If we select the second tab, we are shown a new web page. We can now use the tabs to cycle between the different pages that are open in Safari. However, to enable split screen and have both tab pages appear side by side on our screen, we will need to place our finger on one of the tabbed pages and drag that tab towards the center of the screen. Then in one fluid movement, and with our finger still held down on the screen, we then need to move the tab to the right of the screen until the window docks and automatically splits the screen into two. With our screen now split, you can see that we have three handles. We can use these handles to resize or move the two web pages around our screen. If we want to see only one web page on the screen, by using the center handle and then swiping to the far left of our screen, the remaining web page will take up the full size of our screen. However, if we view open apps, you can see that we have two instances of Safari open. So let's close one instance and then return to Safari. Once again, Let's open a quick menu by pressing and holding down on a hyperlink within a web page. However, this time, from the quick menu, let's select the command open in a new window. As you can see, split screen mode is now automatically enabled so that both pages are displayed side by side. Just like before, we can use the handles to resize or move the two web pages around our screen. However, if we wish to close one of the web pages, we need to perform a two step motion. First, we need to place and hold our finger over one of the top handles. We then need to drag that instance of Safari to the center of the screen. With the web page in the center of the screen, we can now release our finger so that one instance of Safari is floating over the other. Now, using our finger to once again press and hold the handle on our floating page, we need to swipe to the right of the screen to close that instance of Safari. If we want to again view open apps, you can see that because we've closed one of the split screens, we are left with only one instance of Safari open. <laughs> 